This is my ferret bear. His name's Bear because he eats a lot. So. Okay. Um, and I think that there's something wrong with him because he's just not eating. He's usually very active and he's barely moving around. Hey, buddy. Let's go get Dr. Byer. He does our exotics. He is uh, quite the little character. He just <laughs> definitely uh, keeps my daughter entertained. Have a little friend, I guess. I don't know, just a little companion. And we figured it would help teach her some responsibility. How are you? Is this Bear in there? Yeah. All right. This is Bear. Can I take Bear out? When no one was watching, my other daughter placed a silicone bracelet in his cage. So in the morning, we knew that he'd ate a little bit. OK. I noticed like he was just starting to act different. And he usually goes through a whole bowl of food a day, and he's not barely eating. I think you may be onto something. I actually think I feel something right there. Just a little mass or swelling right between my fingers right there. And he's kind of sensitive about it. Let me take some x-rays, and we'll see See if we can see something in there. Perfect. All right. All right. At this point, I don't see anything obvious. What I'd like to do to start with is start off with medical management, um, get him on fluids, antibiotics, um, some pain meds, and see if he can pass it on his own. Then if that doesn't work, then what? If that doesn't work, then then we'd go to surgery, open him up, and, and take, take the little piece of something out. If we do surgery, we'll do keep him for three to five days, because that's the period that any complications might arise. If you can part with him for that long. He's okay. actually my daughter's. If he's OK in the end, that's what matters. OK. Well, we'll do everything we can to get him back to you. All right, Bear, in you go. We just we need him to be back healthy. I think he's adorable. I think he's adorable. Bear's swallowed something that he shouldn't have, so. We need to get Bear set up on a IV catheter, give him a chance to pass it. Ferrets are really difficult to restrain. Uh, he needs anesthesia. We're gonna anesthetize him so that we can get it done quickly and get it done right. I've always wanted a ferret, but they're stinky. Ferrets are very smelly. They, um, they have two main scent glands that are removed at the breeder before they go out to pet stores. But 85% of their scent glands are on their skin, so ferrets smell musky. They are mustelids. Hence, <laughs> the stinkiness. This is an, an induction chamber where the tubes are bringing oxygen and the anesthetic gas into the chamber. He's getting sleepy. <laughs> Probably ready for this. Now we're placing a catheter into Bear. We'll get him on fluids and get him rehydrated. We need to get an e-collar so he doesn't pull out his catheter. It's gonna come all the way back, yeah. You gotta think this is all neck. <laughs> if we have any old x-rays lying around. I've already, we, we used to. We can make an e-collar out of old film. We used to. I'll go look. We've done it for a rat before. It's tough, durable, but also nice and light. Right now, he's doing well. He's not vomiting. He's pretty stable, so, you know, it's not, there's no rush to cut him open. Give him, give him a chance to pass it. Oh, come here. Hi. Oh. How's he doing? He's doing very, very well. Yeah. We're just giving him his morning treatments. We're starting his fluids, his bolus, giving him some food and water. He is very lively this morning. He did have stool in his litter box this morning, but I did not see anything in it. All right. He's been pooping normally. He's been eating normally, acting normal for the last 24 hours. The little mass that I could feel in his abdomen has moved down. It seems to be in the colon now. Things seem to be moving through. He's acting really perky, so I don't see any reason to keep him here longer. It's time to go home. 
Hello. Hi there. How are y'all today? Good. We're here to pick up beer. Okay. I'll get Dr. Byer for you. Be excited. Mm -hmm. Sit down, baby girl. She's already gone through enough loss in the last two years. We lost uh, my dad, um, who actually lived with us. So I didn't want her to have to lose her animal. Howdy, guys. Hello. Hello. How are things today? Good. Good. Well, here he is. Oh He's been eating a ton. Perfect. So. You want right. to hold your ferret? Yes, please. All right. Sit down, okay? So you could feel where the, the foreign body was up until Friday morning. And Thursday night, he um, had a big poo. And whatever was causing the obstruction has moved down into the colon. He should pass that into in the next 24 hours. But if he's not eating, not drinking, not acting himself, just bring him back in. Yeah, he's so active <laughs> compared to when we brought him in. Thank you for facing my ferret. No problem. It was my pleasure. <laughs> Dude, skis, we have reached our destination. Hi. They have names. We're going with the Aristocats theme. One of my favorite animated cat films. Oh, look it. It's my like boy. They're doubled in size, they're active, and now they're ready to go to the next phase, which is spay and neuter, uh, vaccination and microchip. Which ones are we doing first, males or females? There are three males. Starting with the black one. Bernios. Making sure the tunic's in there and spray this. All right, one done, two go. This one is Thomas. Okay, we got him on gas. This is Toulouse. It's French. Let's go with it. <laughs> Neuter him. Takes about 30 seconds to kit. Fastest. Guns in the West over here. So these guys are all done. We got two females, they'll be, they take about five minutes. All right, Marie, I know we don't know each other as well, but I, I am still you, your best friend, I promise. Bottom line is there's too many cats in the world. They have 45 kittens for every one human that can be born. They're most likely to be thrown outside. They're most likely to be abused. Almost ready. In the end, I really do believe you want to stop pain and suffering. Spay and neuter until animals become less, uh, how should I say, disposable. She gets spayed today, doctor tomorrow. Four down, one to go. Get the next one. You gotta slow me down, crap my style. This is my sweet baby angel, Madame Adelaide. I'm holding my friend's hand for support. <laughs> So I'm going to do vaccines, feline distemper vaccine, because they're not old enough for rabies yet. And then I'm going to do the microchips. It's the easiest way to get guys back to their owners if they get out, yeah. After the surgery, they'll pop up, start running around, and they won't even slow down. They'll be playing with each other in a few hours and eating. I mean, it's amazing how fast they bounce back. Look, Petra, it's your people. Hello. Thank you. Hi. Every animal, every rescue that comes into our clinic always gets a health exam, and these two little guys are gonna get seen by Dr. Petra today. So I just wanna make sure they're healthy so I can get them adopted. Hello, handsome child. You are very good looking. I see we need training. <laughs> You're very cute. Okay, well, let's check them over. Come on, let's have a look at them. The exam is pretty much the same as cat and a dog. You look at their eyes, their ears, listen to their chest, look at their teeth. If they are drooling, if they are not eating correctly, if the food is falling out of their mouth or they keep pawing at the mouth, anything to do with the mouth, you should have them checked by a vet because their teeth can become overgrown and that could be a real issue for them. It could get to the point where it's so painful for them they will not eat. And for guinea pigs, because they are herbivores, they have to eat all the time. They cannot make their own vitamin C, and it is very, very crucial that the food contains not only the vitamin C, but all of the other nutrients that are so important for them. So they have a lot of food requirements. Oh my goodness, you're so good. Oh, you got gorgeous teeth. Yes, you do. 
<laughs> you are real good. You are very good. You want to talk to my guinea pigs? They're just adorable. Buttercup and Sneaky look really, really good. Their skin looks good, their ears look good. I don't see any parasites, any mites, anything like that. They look awesome. So I think they're definitely ready to go and, and have a happy, healthy, hopefully very long life. Goodbye, children. I wish mine were as good as you. You want to talk to my guys? We can trade them out. Do you think somebody will notice? No. Nah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. I don't know if this is your first bath, but it's going to be fun. You ready, Sneaky, your first because you're in the front. Do you love it? Oh, that's feel good. We well, don't want him to smell, but you don't want to dry him out either, so you don't want to over bathe him. Maybe once a month. You just want to use a gentle shampoo, like a puppy kind or a non-tear one in case you get it in their face. Look at, do you love it? <laughs> well, you know, I think the more we bathe you, the better you'll be. Yeah. Do you feel okay? I know. I'm going to try and trim your nails if you don't get upset. My guess is these have never been trimmed, and a lot of people just don't know how. They have a quick, just like a cat or a dog does. The quick's right here, and it's pink, so they should be cut down so they're not standing just on their nails instead of their feet. Yeah, you are. OK. You look like a porcupine. Let's see. All right, Snicky, you're good for now. All right, Buttercup, it's your turn. I'll go fast, OK? Oh, you sh there you go. I feel better when I take a shower, so why shouldn't they? It's nice to feel a little more comfortable. They don't clean themselves like cats do, so it's kind of, it kind of stays on there. They just kind of lay in their pee or poop because they hop and poop and hop and poop. His nails are gonna be a little bit harder because his feet, some of them are black and then you can't see the quick as easy. Let's see how good you are about this. <gasps> we did it! Oh, this guy's a little dream. He's such a well-behaved little boy. Yay, we did it! What do you think? You are so handsome. Oh, you smell like a coconut. You can do it. Go tripping over the ball. Good job. Bear is doing really good. He's eating, he's drinking. Me look. Most of the swelling has gone down in his leg. It looks pretty good. Oh, I know. The comb life. It's so hard. Get out of here. Cutest thing. We just want to get Bear and the pet, and then we're going out to, to go home. Yep, we're getting Bear, we're going home. I can't handle all this cuteness. Got him. Careful, watch out right here, puppy. He's got stitches. Oh. Look, you're all shaved <laughs> down. He's all, all shaved. Right. He looks funny. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. dear. Definitely a lot better than it was. Still, oh, yeah. still a little swollen. I just think it's going to take a while to go down. It's not hard. It's not painful like it was. Uh, it'll be sent home uh, with an antibiotic. Come here, bear. No. Oh. Um, I know you have his litter mates and the mom. You know, yes. I'm willing to, to fix them all for free. You want to bring them in? Just set up a time. All right. Thank you very Thanks, much. Thanks. No problem. He is a loud one. He's definitely feeling better because he barks all the time now. He wants food. <laughs> Shake. <laughs> Thank That's you. My board. Thank you very much, Jeff. One, two, and three stitches. Yep, he's got stuff of stitches. We gotta Wait, keep an eye on him. Oh, Mr. Bear. He's okay.